Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBook Solutions. So today uh, is the natural gas report and I wanted to bring you guys along. So I'm gonna be trading live with the Learn Plan Profit Group, which is something that I do every single morning. Uh, the natural gas report is today, which means that every single Thursday, there's an inventory report that is released and it comes out one hour after the market opens. So I love trading these natural gas reports because I don't actually trade the report, I trade the recovery. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that and working towards my daily goal of making making $500 profit within, again, a couple hours of trading in the stock market. I really hope that I earned your thumbs up and I hope that you learned something new. Enjoy. What I wanted to cover today is kind of like how I trade this uh, weekly report. So one of the big things that I'm known for is trading natural gas and every single week on a consistent basis, there's an inventory that is released. Uh, and it normally comes out one hour after the market opens according to schedule. So uh, the report already came out and as you guys can see, there's usually an aggressive either sell off or push up. And uh, let's go to forward slash NG. This one was in favor of natural gas, therefore natural gas shot up. So therefore it's inverse ETF, which is degas, then drop down. So what I like to do is I don't like to actually try to guess which way it's going to go. I like to focus on the recovery. And what I mean by that is yesterday is a perfect example with how crude oil played out. So if we go to on crude oil, yesterday crude oil on Wednesday, it had its inventory report and it aggressively sold off. And one of the things that I do is as it aggressively sells off, I don't care about that. I care if it actually begins to recover because if it does recover and I'm not already invested in it, then I get a benefit from that recovery. And that's exactly what I'm waiting to happen with natural gas is I'm waiting for this thing to become so overbought and so overextended that that it then begins to pull back and correct itself. And by doing so, then I can benefit from the recovery on Diaz if it actually does it. One of the things that I love to share is that again, patterns tend to repeat themselves. They don't always have to. Normally, it does end up recovering, but it doesn't always have to. And this is why it's so it's so crucial that you have to pay attention um, you know, to overall direction. You have to pay attention to confirmation of that recovery. So we're still holding above the EMA line right now. We're still showing signs of it being bullish for natural gas. So therefore, I need to make sure that I really watch my position size on DGAS and that I don't get ahead of myself, right? Uh, so right now, I have about 130 shares on DGAS with an average purchase price of 19183 or 19184 if you want to average up. Uh, so one of the things that I'm waiting for is you guys can see my little cursor right here. There's an arrow, which means that I have an alert there. So I'm going to set a series of alerts and until I get confirmation, then again, now it's beginning to indicate signs of an uptrend. We just broke above 192. So this is, this is telling me that, hey, we're testing we're testing this support on the EMA line. This is the EMA line, the light blue line that you see right here. So the more that it pulls back, the more that it tries to bounce off of this, the more that we begin to test this. There's no question that again, looking at the RSI, looking at the MACD, these indicators are indicating then that this is more on the overbought side. But again, if fundamentals or this overall news and inventory report are so great, then it most likely can continue to push up. And that's what I need to be aware of. It's not just thinking about, hey, I'm here to make money, but hey, I need to be a smart and you know informed trader. And right now I don't have true confirmation. I just have signs that, hey, it is consolidating so it could potentially pull back. And this is why I'm watching it so carefully. So there it goes, DGAS is approaching this EMA line. So one of the things that I'm gonna do once again is there it goes. I'm gonna add 50 more shares to my position size. So here it goes. See if I get filled and there goes the push. So I'm gonna try to get filled, see if I get filled. So I got filled, not at the best price point, not gonna lie on that. So a really strong push up. I'm just gonna let our Learn Plan Profit team know about this push. So that means that if we go back to forward slash NG, we should now be below this EMA line. It doesn't mean that it has to continue to sell off, but this is a really good sign, especially for those that are in DGAS, because again, natural gas is showing signs of a potential sell off. So right now I'm up about $233. My daily goal is $500. And right now we're at about 193. So uh, I'm gonna have to watch this very carefully because again, it still can continue to push up. So I'm gonna set alert on both sides as I wanna make sure that I stay up to date with its overall movement, right? Again, this thing was trading right around 197 before the report came out or around 196. So that would mean for a full recovery. Uh, it offers as of right now, so right, we're right down here, right around 19250. So it offers a potential recovery about like one to 2%. So it's nothing crazy, uh, but I think it's, it's pretty great, right? Because uh, we're kind of like 
told, right? That the market grows at an average rate based off of the past 50 years uh, of about, you know, uh, seven to eight percent, which is, I think, amazing, right? If, you're, if your intention and your focus is investing, then that's definitely your edge, right? But as a day trader, yes, it, it does come at a greater risk. And yes, it is a little bit more challenging, of course, right? Nothing worth having in life should come easy. But if you inform yourself enough, if you become educated enough about what to pick up on and, and what to avoid, then again, the overall return can be in a sense that much greater, right? You guys can see my past even three days of day trading. So today's Thursday, but even the past three days, I traded with $40,000 uh, and I've hit over $500 profit every single day. And if you think about percentage growth, that's about like, you know, 1.2 to 1.5% that I've grown my account every single day and in just three days, right? I've been able to grow my account around 4.5%. So if I close out another green day, right, and I hit my daily goal, that means I grew my account about 6% in just four days of trading, which is pretty close to the average growth of the stock market within a fiscal year, which again, doesn't come easy, but as you begin to challenge yourself more, as you begin to test yourself more, um, it, it you become a little bit more aware about what to do and what not to do, right? Uh, to put it into perspective so so there it goes we just received a nice push so we're trading right around 193 uh, we're pushing right around 250 so we got again halfway to my daily profit but I, I don't like to focus too much on how much I'm up or I'm down I'm trying to see you know where we're seeing a resistance we're still seeing a resistance right around that middle view up yeah trying to wait for more true confirmation so uh, we could get rejected here so one of the things that we could see here is things can begin to go south and we can begin to sell off again and how this would look for natural gas is the overall idea that natural gas can continue to push up so nothing wrong with locking the profits especially if you're beginning to indicate signs of a resistance uh, so right now we're right back at $82 profit. So not doing too well on that side. Uh, but again, we're going to test this one more time, see if we actually begin to sell off. If so, I'll hold my position. If not, then I'll decide to walk away. So looking at this right now, we have a lot of buyers on natural gas, which is good for you guys, but not good for degas. So, um, and again, if you guys didn't know, um, you know, degas goes up when the mark, when natural gas sells off. And there's also you gas. So you gas goes up when natural gas goes up. So it's very important to know that there's two sides to um, a lot of these futures. So regardless of if the you know overall futures going up or down, there's always a way that you can still make money depending on you know which side of the ETF or ETN that you are on. You just have to inform yourself about which direction it's heading. And by understanding its direction, you can then understand or have a better edge on you know hey. Which side do I want to focus on? If if things are overbought and they're bound to pull back, maybe I don't want to get into you gas. Maybe I want to get into D gas and ride the recovery. And that's the idea behind this trade. One of the things that we are now seeing is that uh, natural gas is beginning to show signs of a little bit more of a sell off. So I'm going to set another limit order here, seeing if I get filled. But as you guys could see, there it goes. I just got filled on my buy. Uh, natural gas just had a really strong push up, so I was not expecting that. So natural gas or degas is trading right back at 19279 and 19338. So we just had an aggressive pullback. Uh, and one of the things that I really like to focus on are lower lows and lower highs. So as long as we continue to make lower highs and lower lows, that's an indication of a sell off. So that's a really strong push up, uh, which does not look very good for my position um, on DGAS. So that increased my average purchase price. Now I'm at 19249. Uh, but there it goes. So we're testing this again. Uh, that middle VWAP is becoming a pretty strong resistance. And this is something that we have to be very, very careful with uh, because again, if this thing does begin to push up, I have a pretty solid position size right now on DGAS and the direction is beginning to potentially change. So uh, let's see, uh, we have a decent amount of buyers again, once again, uh, let's see. All right, there it goes, drop to 2.150. There it goes, making new lows. Can we continue to sell off? DGAS pushing up on a Thursday.
All right, guys, so as you guys can see right now, so we just had a very aggressive sell-off. I think it's because we broke below 2.145, and there it goes, aggressively selling off for when it comes down to natural gas. So as natural gas aggressively sells off, then degas is therefore uh, pushing up, but it's actually not pushing up as much as I would uh, think it would. So set a limit order right now. I can sell something in between here. Sell 130 shares of my shares on degas, so... Let's see if I can get filled with, all right, so I just got filled with 130 shares and it just broke above 195. So again, I have a smaller position size, so this allows me to kind of hold it with a little bit more confidence without having so much money at stake while the direction is still in my favor. So again, the trend is definitely my friend right now. Um, so I'm gonna sell my 100 remaining shares. So right now we hit the daily goal, so just so you guys could check this out. So we're already at the daily goal. Everything else is just pretty much a cherry on top. Um, and we wanna make sure that we don't give too much back. So it looks like it's really trying to uh, ride this resistance at 195. But again, I'm not here to make it or break it. I'm here to kind of enjoy what I do every single day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a limit order at 19510. And then I'm gonna leave it at that. So let's see if I get filled. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Get into 100 shares. So it is pulling back. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna get filled uh, right around there. So I'm not gonna be too greedy. You guys can see the bid and the ask. So I'm gonna go in and uh, sell at 195. There it goes. I sold all 100 shares. My entire position closed. Um, again, it does have a little bit more margin for this thing to continue to push up. Uh, it's been getting rejected around the SMA line to so has about another dollar. Yes, coulda, shoulda, woulda. I could potentially make more money. And there it goes. It actually just popped up. Uh, not much of a surprise there. And there it goes, 196. Wow. Uh, <laughs> um, but 196, so I did miss out on a little bit. But again, it's not about the coulda, shoulda, woulda. It's, again, working towards hitting your daily goal on a consistent basis. And today is just another day where we challenge ourselves, we seek opportunity, and we make the most of it. So $595 profit, just so you guys can all see. All positions closed right here. A total of 12 orders with my first purchase at 736. I sold and then one other day trade, and then I sold at 913, which you guys just saw. So about two day trades, so exactly two day trades. I had bought, 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 and then sold, and then bought, 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 and then sold. So very happy with the overall performance. And that's how you guys do it. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about how I traded during the natural gas report. Again, this isn't the only way to trade. This is simply how I traded. If you guys enjoyed it or learned something new, I really hope that I earned a thumbs up. Don't forget, if you guys would like to be able to watch me trade live, and if you learned a lot while watching me trade as I explain my thought process, that's exactly what the Learn Plan Profit Group gets to experience every single day. So if you'd like to work with me on a closer basis and you already like what you see, then again, that is the only option. And take two minutes, click that second link down below and learn a little bit more about our Learn Time Profit Group. If you're not ready to take that step, but you want to get, again, your feet wet when it comes down to what the stock market has to offer, click that first link. We run the largest investing group in the world for those that day trade in the stock market, and that is that first link down below. So like always, let's make sure that we in the year on a green now. Take it easy, team.